I'm Lawrence AJ, a professional cyclist and I build this electric bike powered with all dead laptop batteries. I'm Nanati and I'm here some. Hello viewers, as you've always been asking for a video, today will be my very first time dropping a video and I hope you watch and you share with your friends. I'm here in the house of Mr. Lawrence AJ, the man behind these electric bikes and these are not motorbikes but they are battery powered bikes. Mr. AJ, kindly join me in your garage. Welcome Mr. Lawrence. Thank you boss. Um, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I'm Lawrence AJ and a professional cyclist and I built uh, e-bikes here. Okay, can you take us through what you do here? Yeah, I do custom built electric bikes yeah, from scratch. That's what I do here. Okay, so somebody will want to know what you are saying about we, me, myself, I'm a bit lost. So tell me what you meant by uh, from scratch. From scratch means I built the frame and did the battery build. I did the battery build inside and the wheel is everything. Wow. So with everything that I'm seeing here, you built it yourself? Everything. From spraying, welding, to everything. Like assembling the parts, everything, everything, everything. You just said about assembling the parts. Is it that you bought some from outside or... Because yeah. you said you did everything yourself. So what do you mean by uh, some parts? I bought some parts. Something like the fork, you can see. The fork, the handlebar, uh, the headset, and the key and like some parts uh -huh. but the frame and the batteries was all built here you did everything here by yourself myself you are you a welder or something tell me i'm not a welder so if you said you you were the one who did this how did you go how how were you able to do it i did it myself you can see the machines here this is the spray machine and this is the the welding machine and this too is a battery making machine well, you just mentioned you do the batteries yourself. Um, um, I don't really understand what you mean by that. Can you really elaborate on that for me? Okay, so with the batteries, I use dead laptop batteries. Then I crack them open, then I test them with some machines. And then we're done with this machine here, yeah, called the sports weather. Wow, you use laptop batteries to do this? Yeah, dead laptop batteries. Then I test them with some machines, yeah, then I build them. Wow, that is incredible. That is really incredible. Viewers, Mr. Lawrence is going to demonstrate how he get those batteries from the laptops. Okay, so these are the cells from the laptop batteries. So you crack the batteries, then you take the cells out of it. Yeah, then you clean the tips. So you want this machine here, then you clean the left tabs on it, like this. Then you sport what with this machine here. Yeah, so this machine here is a sport weather. So I'm looking for the for the nickel. Uh -huh. So this is the nickel, the nickel strip. So you put this on this like this. Then you weld it with the machine. You can see. That's nickel weld. So we join this one to make the complete battery. So this is how it's made. Yeah, so. so what's your battery capacity in that particular bike? This battery here is a 72 volt battery. Yeah, with 37 amps hour, which is around 2.7, 2.8 kilowatts. Yeah, so how, how long would it take to have a full charge? A full charge would take around three hours for fully charged. And with the three hours, it can take you 120 kilometers of range yeah wow that is incredible so do you charge it what do you use in what's the means of charging it you charge it with electricity electricity yeah. so do you have ports everywhere no i have a charger which i plug into like like into the mains yeah to charge it wow that is incredible the charger too is custom built. I built the charger myself. You can see the charger is here. It's even not completed, but I'm working on it. A custom built charger to charge your bike. So 
this are all made here. So you made all this yeah, here in Ghana? Yeah. Wow. I can see two beautiful bikes here. Are they all working or are you done with all of them? No, I'm not done. This one, I'm not done with it. It left with the battery. Yeah. It left with the battery. And what about the green one? This one too is not done, but I'm just testing it. So I will have a lot of work done on this one. It's not completely done. Yeah. Just but, it, position. Okay. but is it movable? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So can we have a ride? Yeah, you can have a ride. So viewers, we are going to test this motorbike on my channel for the first time in history. Okay, can you tell us uh, about the features this motorbike has? Yeah, it has a lot of features, like the braking system. It has a regenerative braking system, which means when you hit the brake, the brake, uh, the back motor turns regenerator, which produces electricity to charge the battery inside. And second, the bike has a reverse, which you can come reverse with the bike. And thirdly, it has a three-speed switch. Yeah, that means you can change speed from first second third and the bike has a battery meter here which you can see yeah a battery meter which you can see your battery percentage and a temperature inside the bike and it also has a phone charger which i haven't put on the bike yet yeah and also the bike is also fully bluetooth programmable which means you can program the bike with your smartphone and you can even see the batteries inside, the health, everything. You can change the speed, acceleration, like everything about the bike you can change. And also you can even lock the bike on your smartphone. Yeah, you can lock it, which no one can even push it. Yeah. I can see some um, screen over here. What is that? This is a GPS, yeah, for speed and distance, yeah. Wow. Okay. And when you were talking about the battery meter, you made mention about um, you are able to charge another phone. Yeah, you can charge a phone on the bike, but I haven't put that in here. So the terminal, the port. Yeah, yeah, the port here. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That is incredible. Okay. So aside that, what is it that is so special about this bike? Mm, this bike can serve as a power source for your house. That means you can connect. An inverter to his bike yeah then you can even use to power your, your house yeah okay with the bike so this doesn't use fuel solely on battery no no it's use electricity wow that's incredible so why do you decide to go by um just the electricity and not fuel i just wanted a cheap transport yeah i room about a lot so i need something which i can use and wouldn't cost me much to repair and like wouldn't cost me much to like travel so this one is really cheap yeah so compared to the bikes that I use for this is more they are more expensive and this is cheaper mm, not even expensive but that one you need to do a lot of maintenance with this one you can use it like four years five years without even doing any maintenance it's like maybe you just change the brake pass yeah that's all when you use a battery well like when you use it very well you're not gonna maybe like go for repairs yeah it's very very good very good that's incredible so you mean this battery can last for how long when you charge it this bike the battery can last for like 120 kilometers before it goes flat yeah like, approximately how many hours can you drive uh, ride this you can ride it it depends on how you ride it like how fast you go yeah, when we sleep very fast, I think the distance will, will will come like maybe maybe around 80. Yeah, but when you go slow, maybe you can even get like 20 kilometers out of this bike. Yeah, 200 kilometers of range. It depends how you, you use it and your weight and the road. Yeah. You said about weight, so meaning you want to tell me when I'm slim, it can go 
at a long distance yeah, when you are slim you can go very long yeah so the bigger you are the bigger you are <laughs> the less range yeah oh wow that's incredible that is incredible okay there are a lot of young ones out there who are also passionate to do something of this nature what advice do you have for them yeah i was i would tell them they shouldn't stop like like trying it's because me I tried for like four or five years and the thing wasn't working, but I kept trying, trying, trying now. Yeah. So how do you find this? Cause this goes uh, a long way, like it's this deals with money. So you can't tell me this was done freely. So how do you go by it? Some people are not having money. So how do, do, do they go by it? Yeah, you know, electric vehicles are very expensive. And this with this one, I've, even started like I think like five years ago, cause you know the parts are very expensive, and sometimes you need to order the parts from China, and which sometimes the shipping alone like is way expensive, yeah, for the parts. So do you find it yourself? Yeah, myself. But I don't buy the parts at once. I buy one, then maybe some months later, then I buy the other one, cause the parts are really expensive here. Yeah. So many you do susu and then you buy. Yeah, you know that kind of thing. Nanati was here so. And I've been here and then this is an amazing bike. And Ghana needs more people like Mr. Lawrence to create more things of this nature. Ghana, let's all come together and support Mr. Lawrence very well. He has done a, an amazing job. Kudos, man. Thanks. Nanati was here, Sam. Have you been here? You need to ride this. You need to ride this. You need to ride this. Mm -hmm.